Hi, I'm Real Wild, and I'm gonna explain uh, aiming with a compound bow. Aiming is super important. I mean, in our game, one miss could be the difference between a win and a loss. So the biggest tools are your sight and your peep are your two big reference points for aiming with your bow. Uh, the piece of plastic in the string is a peep sight. Really simple, it's just got a hole in it for you to look to and reference for your front sight. There's a bunch of different looks. There's some that are tubular, some that are this. Mine has a hood on it to keep the sun out. Just a pretty simple piece of equipment, but very necessary. The features of the scope is it has a magnifying lens in there that brings the target, makes it look a little bigger than it is. A uh, little dot in there to go for uh, the size of reference. You have a level in there that helps keep your bow level because if you, it's not level, it'll go left or right and all that and it, it just keeps your arrows more in a line. And you put the peep on it and it clears it up. Because otherwise, just looking through a piece of glass, we all know what a beveled piece of glass, it just doesn't look real clear. The relationship between the peep and the scope is a pretty simple one. It's used to keep you in line. You just kind of look down it and it looks through the scope and helps you aim at the middle of the target. If the, the peep and the scope aren't in line, it can cause you to be off a little bit with your head. It causes a lot more variance. This just helps keep you more consistent. When I shoot, I try to keep the pin in the middle as much as I possibly can because that's a huge part of hitting the middle. It's hard to hit there if you don't aim there. So when you have good equipment and your alignment's right and you've used everything right and the dot's in the middle, it should hit nothing but the middle. The biggest tip I can give you with aiming has nothing really to do with the scope or the peep sight but to play with your draw length because if it's too short, it gets really herky-jerky and the dot jumps around. And if it's too long, it floats around uncontrollably. You can't stop it. So good luck and I hope your dot stays in the middle.